don't even know where to put my hands. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is, I have, a, I have a pile of clay next to me that I'm about to talk about. And it's, it's like a whole person. I don't know, I don't know where to, where to put myself around it. So let's just try. Hey guys, what is up? Thank you for joining me today. In this video, I'll be discussing a little bit about what clay I use for the sculpts that I make. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me this question, and I do answer it online here and there, but I figured, let me just put it all in one video for you guys to enjoy. So, let's talk about some clay. Okay, first question. What kind of clay do I use? Well, I use Chavant's NSP Sought Clay. I really like this clay, um, and this is... In the industry, in the uh, entertainment industry, film, television, the majority of clay that's used is going to be either Chavant, soft, medium, or hard, it's up to the studio, and uh, what is it, wed clay, because of the ability to sculpt quickly in large shapes. Um, but I personally, uh, I started off in monster clay, and I have nothing wrong with monster clay, this, it's great, but I use uh, Chavant's NSP Soft because I have learned to love the consistency of it, the texture of it. It's, it's, a, it's a blend. It has some wax oil, I think. Yeah, wax and oil, but uh, it's a little bit on the oily side. So it's gonna get on your hands, get on your fingers, your tools and everything, but I like that because I'm a tactile person. Uh, other reasons why I like it is because you can do clay presses with this, uh, with this clay. Meaning, what is a clay press? You can heat up the clay to a certain point, if you have an existing mold, let's say for the Hellboy, uh, for the uh, most recent Hellboy movie, I had to do some clay presses for the horns. So I went ahead and took some Chavant. I had a, I had a little uh, mold of a horn, like a, I forget what it was, what horn we used, but big one. Put it in there and uh, let it cool down, pulled it out, and then I just sculpted the actual broken part. So you'll see that in the movie uh, where his horns are broken off. I sculpted that from using a clay press with Chavant. Uh, a lot of other things I've sculpted with is, or sculpted for was uh, in the Aquaman, Aquaman movie, I sculpted uh, Orn's armor out of Chavant. It was hard, but Chavant nonetheless. So I hope this answers that question is what clay do I use, Chavant, and why? Because it's just honestly, it's been the industry go-to for so long. Um, there are other clays out there and be on the lookout. I did get another care package from uh, Smooth On, their Air Alien Clay, actually Chavant Smooth On's Alien Clay, and I look forward to using that because it's uh, castable and it also does have the same kind of consistency, so we'll see how that goes. But hopefully this did answer your question as to what clay I use and why I use it. Um, you can also get some really good smooth surfaces with this clay, don't let the oily uh, texture fool you. As you've seen with my sculpts, you can get a nice smooth marble-like consistency with this clay. So, uh, don't, I don't know why I'm going to say don't eat it, but don't eat it because I just had the temptation to have at it. Uh, but anyway, if you are enjoying these videos and you want to see more, please drop a comment down below. Uh, if you are enjoying the videos and do want to see more, uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because you guys are what are able to make me, uh, let me make videos. So if you have any suggestions as well, Leave them in the comments below because, hey, that just feeds the process. More comments, more questions, means more videos, more content for you guys to be able to learn how I do what I do. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me, and I'll see you next time.